Hello everybody, Mobius1 here, bringing you an SWG EMU video from the new Finalizer server. And this is going to be a kind of a status update, a two weeks later video, just kind of talking about how the server has been doing. And as you can see here, I'm in the Moss Eisley Cantina, and it's pretty dead. I mean, there's, there's a couple people hanging out here, but if we just kind of walk inside and take a look and see how many people oh oh my yeah there's a lot of people playing As a matter of fact, the server recently surpassed 1,000 unique players online. And I uh, will remind you that because the server only allows one character online per account, um, a thousand connections is a thousand players, at least. And that's not saying that, you know, there aren't some AFK bots. There are definitely a few, you know, if people are uh, overnighting or, you know, if they go to work and they leave their game running or something like that. Um, there's definitely possible that, you know, there are a number of AFK bots. I'm not going to deny that. But when you compare that to what Basilisk has been over the past two or three years, it's, it's insane. I mean, just the number of people actually at the keyboard, the number of dancers, doctors that are all operating at the keyboard. Like, let's just poke our head into the Moss Eisley Med Center right now. Uh, okay, I mean, it's pretty, it looks pretty slow now, but I was in here the other day and there were three at the keyboard doctors lined up here, which each one of them had a line of clients. Um, it's, it's been ridiculous and it's been amazing. Honestly, it's the most exciting time. I've, I've said this before, but playing on a Galaxy server just after starting it is the most exciting time to play. And if you've noticed, as I've been looking around here, um, there's no composite armor yet. Everybody is wearing different stuff. Now, there's quite a bit... Um, what is it? Chitin? Yeah, Chitin armor has kind of been the go-to armor for now because it offers the highest kinetic resistance uh available on the server i'm sure there probably might be a few people running around with composite armor but uh for the most part everybody looks pretty unique i mean we'll go back here into the cantina and just look around and see uh, you can see there's a bunch of chitin helmets um but if you look around people are complaining the galaxies is boring because everyone looks the same and uh, honestly, the most people that look the same right now are people who haven't changed out of their starter newbie gear yet, uh, either because they can't afford it or just because they haven't bothered to. But yeah, you can see a lot of um, a lot of default outfits on a lot of people for now. But uh, it's that's what it's like on a new server uh, early in the server's lifetime. It's it's a very different game. Even the Theed Cantina, which obviously isn't quite as populated as the Isley Cantina at this time, has been rather active, um, at, despite the fact that this looks like a small group here. Uh, I'm recording this kind of in the middle of a weekday, so at night and over the weekends, this place has been just as, if not more populated than the Moss Isley Cantina. This is also where Takora and I have decided to set up. She's doing her entertainer stuff along with her group, and I just mastered Doctor last night. Um, so I will be buffing here while they're buffing here. And we're just trying to draw uh, a little bit of population away from Moss Eisley and, you know, shine some light on some lesser used cities in the game. Not that Theed is, you know, not already a popular city, but whatever. We're trying to make something new, uh, breathe some life into other locations. So if you guys want to uh, hang out with us, we've been live streaming pretty much every night, whether it's me on uh, my Twitch channel, which is twitch.tv slash Mobius1, or Takora uh, has actually started streaming again on twitch.tv slash Takora. Um, we're kind of doing like a rotation thing where sometimes I'm streaming, sometimes she's streaming, but a lot of the time we're on Discord together regardless of who's streaming. So if you want to hang out uh, and chat with us, 
definitely visit those Twitch channels. Um, give us each a follow. We'd appreciate it, especially Tick, because she's just getting back into streaming and trying to become a Twitch affiliate and all that fun stuff. So uh, check out her channel. And if you want to visit us in game, this is most likely where we'll be. The new AI on the server, as you can see, there's like the rebel troopers. And if the city was Imperial controlled, they'd be stormtroopers. Walk around the cantina, they harass other uh, Hitler people. It's really interesting. Also, the way creatures behave in uh, when you get missions and the new stalking where creatures will actually like follow you and they won't aggro right away, but they'll like track you halfway across the planet and jump you when you're least expecting it. It's been making things really, really fun. Um, it's been neat to, you know, uh, I don't want to say it's been neat, but. You know, sometimes you'll leave your character AFK hand sampling some resources and come back and find yourself dead because uh, a Nuna or something, probably not a Nuna, but some sort of aggressive creature snuck up on you when you weren't paying attention and uh, killed you. Speaking of live streaming, I haven't actually exported any of my Twitch VODs over to YouTube yet. So while I do plan on doing that in the future, there's some really long live streams. I set a record on, uh, I think the first stream on finalizer we stream for like 14 hours or something ridiculous like that so i want to uh cut that down a little bit into chunks before i export it over because i don't think anybody's going to sit through a 14 hour vod um so those are coming at some point you'll be able to see all the early grinding and stuff experimenting with the new ai that uh that we went through all the cantina drama trying to figure out like who's running what group and how to get the most xp and macro making and stuff again uh it's been really fun um again i really just want to make this video to say look finalizer is here and it's amazing and more people are playing now than i think anyone expected I'm going to be live streaming tonight. Uh, I don't know for how long, but uh, I'll be on. And then tomorrow night for New Year's Eve, Takora is going to be streaming and we're going to be doing some giveaways, playing some games. Um, there's also an event going on tomorrow night that the, um, I think it's like Jabba's Eve. Let me pull it up real quick. I should have done this first. Yes, Jabba's Eve Classic Celebration is going to be tomorrow night. Uh, until January 1st. Yeah, so 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. PvE celebration event going to be uh, at Moss Entha on Tatooine. So we will be there um, live streaming, of course, on Takora's channel, maybe even my channel. I think for tomorrow night, I think we're both going to stream at the same time. Uh, so you could be able to tune into either of us and check out that event if you're not able to play on your own. But yes, we will be there. The streaming has been really good for getting word out about the server. As a matter of fact, I know um, Takora in particular has brought in several, I don't know the exact number, but like four or five players from live SWG that like didn't know anything about Finalizer. But when they saw her stream, they were like, whoa, what is this? And when so we explained it to them, they picked up the game and are back in playing again. So it's been really, really awesome. The stream numbers have never been higher. We're consistently hitting like 60 or 70 viewers, each of us. Um, so yeah, please come hang out. It's been a blast. On top of that, now that people are finally getting gear, you know, weapons and armor and foods and stuff like that, I think uh, server PVP is going to eventually kick off. And um, Gospel, who's one of the other SWG streamers, has reached out to me with a contact for the Imperials. If you're interested in PvPing for the Empire, I'm putting a uh, Discord name in the video description down below. So if you have Discord and you want to get involved with PvP on the Imperial side, reach out to uh, that contact and they'll be able to set you up with a guild and get you started. If you're looking for more communities to hang out with other than PvP, I have my own public Discord still. Link to that has been in my video description for pretty much the past, every video I've uploaded for like the past couple years. Um, Takora has also started her own Discord that at the moment is kind of geared more towards entertainers and doctors, anyone who's like buffing on Finalizer. Um, but anybody is welcome to join. I'll put her Discord in my video description as well. Um, she'd be happy to have you guys there. It's a growing community, but they're actually growing pretty quickly and they're uh, they're very active. Lots of people on there talking, telling, uh, letting people uh, know if there's buffers 
in certain cities or if somebody has to go AFK, they can find somebody to fill a role in a group or that sort of thing. It's um, it's actually been a really nice uh, LFG Discord to like if you're playing and you're wondering, hey, is there anybody buffing in, uh, you know, Coronet or whatever? Uh, you can post in there and they'll let you know. Yes, no, maybe so. That sort of thing. Yeah, check it out. As for myself, uh, like I said, I just got Master Doctor last night, so I'm finally, uh, I'm able to buff people now, and it's really awesome. I did start going towards Terrace Kasi. Uh, I've only got one skill so far, and I'm I'm actually debating whether or not I want to do my standard Terrace Kasi Master, Master Doctor combo that I did on Basilisk. I'm considering instead going like a Doctor Combat Medic kind of hybrid, but, uh, you know, I'm not really sure. So if you want to uh, leave your input, you know, you can leave a comment in this uh, video or jump into the stream later tonight and let me know what you think. But that's it for now. Finalizer's here. It's awesome. As of right now, which is uh, the middle of the day on a Thursday, we have, oh, we have over a thousand uh, connections right now. We have 1,003 connections on Finalizer in the middle of the day on a Thursday afternoon. So, yeah, it's... If you guys were considering it, but you weren't sure it was going to work, definitely hop in there. Uh, we're we're at the transition phase right now. We're in like the mid game, where buffs and armor are becoming more commonly available. They're still pretty expensive. Uh, I mean, I charge 15k for my doc buffs, but I've seen other doctors charging as much as 20 to 25k for buffs. So uh, it's not quite to the basilisk level yet, where everything is so just widely available that everything's cheap. You actually do need to earn some money and then consider, you know, like weigh the pros and cons versus what you want to spend that money on. Uh, and it's, it's, I can't, I can't express it enough. It's a totally different game and it's amazing. So please come play Finalizer. Let me know in the comments uh, what you guys are doing. If you're already playing, uh, what kind of characters you're working towards, what professions you're grinding, how the experience has been, if you have any fun stories. Um, or experiences with the AI. I want to hear about them. And uh, yeah, please visit the stream again. Link in the description. I'll be on tonight. Hope to see you guys there. Mobius One here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Well, thanks, Tribal. Hopefully you catch this one, too. <laughs>